Yo, it's JSF, and this time it's not Combat League. <laughs> um, so, I, I know some of y'all probably know about frame data and probably have an understanding of stuff like this already, but for the people who don't, or for, or for the people that may even know some stuff about frame data but don't understand the importance of literally one frame, I just wanted to show y'all something, right? And even online, even though online in this game and offline are very, very different because when you play in a high ping connection, it's hard to, to punish and do things like exactly on, like to do just frame things, right? To do something on exactly the frame that it happens, it's still possible. And if you do it right, sometimes if the block stun of the move isn't weird, you can do it pretty, pretty uh, reliably somewhat online. So anyway, I wanted to talk about a situation that is pretty nonsensical and abusable and literally can be fixed by one frame. So <clears throat> we have spawn, right? I play spawn. Oh, whoops, I forgot I have him on that. I play spawn, you know. I've said plenty of times, um, spawn's fastest mid, well, he doesn't have a real mid. His fastest mid is 13 frames, right? His, he has a low string that's 12 frames, right? So his fastest string is 12 frames. When people say nine frame mid, 10 frame mid, blah, blah, they mean like your fastest string that's not duckable. So it could be a low, like Centrion has a 10 frame low string. A 10 frame advancing low stream, that's really good to have, right? It's something that's very respectable to check with. Now, Spawn has a 12 frame, and some people might, it, it might sound like that's not that big of a deal, especially if you don't play this game that much or don't play this game, I don't even want to say in competitive or high level matches because even at low and mid level, people mash a shit ton, so you feel the difference. But something, here's just a very, very simple example of it and why this is a problem, right? Like, so just to put it out there, one of the changes I would make to this game, I think every single character on the roster should have a 9, 10, or 11 frame advancing mid string or low string. Every single character, all of them, all of them. If, like, like if Cetrion can have a 10 frame low string, if Shang Tsung can have a 10 frame low string, why can't Spawn? Why can't Frost? Why can't, uh, why can't Scarlet? Why can't, you know, Fujin or whoever, right? But anyway, um, I'm just, I'm getting sidetracked, so let's just get to it. So, Nightwolf has this move. Spirit Tracks, right? It's a low advancing special, that's a roll, right? It's minus 12 on block, no matter what range he does it at. What about the EX version? Just so I'm, just so I'm, uh... Oh, he's not blocking. Just so we cover all bases. EX version says it's minus 16, right? So the EX version, the launcher, is punishable, right? Punishable, right? Now, the regular version... The regular version is minus 12. And in this game, that means you need a move that's 11 frames or faster to punish it. Now, the nature of this move, it has some pushback, right? Just, just, it just has, it has natural pushback. Even if I jump at him, whoa. If I jump at him, look where we end up, right? Now, also, look how look at the range and if you if it's hit further away. Now moves like this usually get a more or less minus if they're spaced out. It doesn't seem like this move gets less minus. It seems like it's always minus twelve. But being minus twelve from this range is completely fucking safe. It's completely safe, right? Um now the issue with this is as you can see, Spawn can't really do anything about this. Whoa. Like, like, he really can't do much about it. Now, I'm aware of this. You can technically punish with their 11 frame down four technically possible but at certain ranges you can't that doesn't work right so the problem with this is one it's a fuck neutral move right it's night wolves fuck neutral move in variation three two it encourages a maniacal playstyle. it encourage you to do this it encourage i've seen night wolf i've played night wolf players who do this then do it then do it again 
because I can't do shit about it, right? I'll roll, I'll roll under projectiles, and I'll hit you low. So you have to like, you can't just be continue doing what you're doing. You have to low block, right? Or you have to jump. You have to do something because he's coming for that ass, right? In I, I mean, maybe this will be more about Nightwolf Spear Tracks move than just uh, frame data in general, but let's go to another character. Let's go to another character. I'm not not even like a fucking crazy good character. I'm not going to pick Liu Kang because obviously Liu Kang can punish him. Let's just go to Frosty. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I don't have the cool costume anymore. That sucks. Wolfie. <laughs> Wait, is that the right variation? Yes. So let's look at Frost, right? Let us look at Frost. Whose range buttons are not necessarily amazing. Well, she's got... No, no, that's true. That's, I'm not taking that back. That's true. Her range buttons are not amazing. <laughs> Alright, so... We got... Bam. Let's... No. All... And we got frame data on and reversal mode on spear tracks. Bam. So, now we got frost. Look at that. How fast is her mid? 11 frames. It doesn't really have better range than spawn either. Like, the range on her mid sucks. The hitbox on this thing sucks. It goes, it goes like, it, and this is something people don't, I've talked about this before, but people don't really think about. Like, the hitbox of your advancing mid-string is really important. Hers doesn't even really advance. It makes her go backwards. But you can consistently punish spear tracks. Like, especially when, once you realize, the, once you get a hang of the block stun, it has more block stun than it seems like. So it's not like as soon as he, like, you don't mash right there. You can't do anything. You have to literally wait and then punish. Like, but you can consistently punish this with a move that's literally just one frame faster. Literally, like, the, the hitbox is close to... Like, his is lower, obviously, because his is the low, but you can consistently punish this. So, like, th this is part of the thing when, when I talk about matchups and complaining and shit. This is part of what I'm talking about, right? Because I can literally pick Frost. Like, if I pick... I picked uh, Spawn, and I was playing a ranked match a while ago. And I was playing against uh, a competitive player. I'm not going to air nobody out. But uh, a well-known competitive player, and he picked Shaman Nightwolf. He literally did spear tracks in neutral like seven times. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's scrubby as hell. Like, what are you doing? And then I went into the lab, and I realized, oh, Spawn can't really punish it. He can just down four, right? Now, her down four is 12 frames, not 11 frames. So she can't do it. He can do it in the sense that he can just down four it. But she can get a full combo punish, right? And I think the idea of a move like this is it's supposed to be full combo punishment because it's a shadow kick, right? It's a teleport. You literally, like... Like... Fuck. How, how, how am I going to show this? Like that. That. There you go. <laughs> That's how I'm going to show it. Right? And it's just kind of, like, crazy that literally one frame literally one frame makes all the difference in match in this matchup right in fighting shaman nightwolf this character literally one frame of frame data is a huge deal because spawn's fastest mid being 12 frames means that he literally can't do shit about it like he can down for you but he's not one of those characters watch i should have i should have planned this out better but i did want to show uh frost punish that because when i fight nightwolf players if i lose i just pick frost and like I don't think I don't think that's a hard counter pick to Nightwolf. It could be. I'm not a Nightwolf player. It could be a counter. Oh, well, what am I doing? It could be, but I don't believe it to be because she doesn't really like dominate him. He's got some uh, mid range neutral buttons. He's got his uh, his glow, so you can't mindlessly zone. <clears throat> and he's obviously got spear tracks, so he can't just be zoned out like crazy because he can still get in. If you're not blocking low, you're gonna get caught slipping, right? And they just buffed fucking spear tracks or buffed his normals so he can combo off of it. But yeah, okay, here's what I wanted to look at. Plus 16. So theoretically, that should jail. But 
I'm not I'm not here to play that game because online that shit never works. <laughs> but um yeah, it's something that's super important that like I mean people always talk about having a mid, having a fast mid, but like it's not just have a fast mid. Like if you're gonna have moves in this game in this is probably an oversight. The developers probably are not paying attention. It's probably just an oversight. If you're gonna have a move that hits from seventy five percent of the screen away like it doesn't hit from full screen right this is a, it doesn't go full screen but that's about 75 percent right from here oh wait from here hits a little bit further no you can go further than that honestly from here hits right like the fact that he get from this range he can hit me and hit me low and low pro go under my projectiles while he's doing it it literally fucks my neutral it literally fucks like like no pun intended. No pun intended. Fuck it. Like, cause from this range, what can I do? Fireball. I can dash up. I can dash up forward two. And that's the other thing. Um. Um. How do I want to show this? How do I want to show this? Okay. Wait. I'm, I'm gonna get this right. <laughs> I'm gonna get it right, I promise. <laughs> you get the point that I'm going for, right? You get, you get what I'm trying to do? <laughs> you get the point? Now, I can get hit, but if you think if you think that can't low profile, you're smoking. Like, you're like trust me, it's, it's hard to replicate, but it's happened to me online before. And just normal low pokes can low profile. And low profiling is another thing I want to talk about, but I don't want to get too much into that in this video because that's a whole fucking topic. But yeah, I think it's it's something that's like really, really like, it's not like a new thing. It's not something that nobody knows about. The fact that frame data is like so, 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 so finicky and so like important. But like everybody doesn't have it, right? Like everybody doesn't have a, a 10 frame, 9 frame, 11 frame mid. Like, like if you're gonna, if you're gonna have moves in the game that are gonna be flying across the screen to be minus 12, everybody needs to be able to punish it universally. Like the fact that this move is not universally punishable is a crime. Like that is ridiculous. Like this doesn't make any sense. Can you like? It's like Jade shot, not Jade. Uh, it's like Jackie's a uh, dash punch be a safe home. Run. Only against certain characters, but still. <clears throat> the difference is his is a little more minus, but it's like, yeah, but his is also a low. It also low profiles uh, uh, fucking projectiles. Like, so it has more advantages built in, and it goes further. So, like, the fact that that's just, that's ridiculous. And, like, characters, if you look, if you look at any tier list from any point in this game's existence, I guarantee you the top tier characters are characters that have... 9 frame mids and 10 frame mids. Sometimes 11 frame mids, but that's it. It's not characters as fast as fucking string is 12 frames. Because you can't do anything. You, you really can't. Like, and not to mention his string is wonky as hell. It's safe, but you gotta commit to it, right? Anyway, um, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, basically, like, I don't want to make this video too long and rant and do all the shit I'm using. I've been doing a lot lately. I just want to talk a little bit about frame data and like how important one little frame can be. So like when I say like a character would be a lot better if they got like if Spawn had a 10 frame mid, Spawn would be top tier. If Spawn had a 10 frame mid, he'd be top tier. But since he has a 12, like literally two frames of well, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. If he had a if he could special cancel a combo after this, after this stream, 1-1-2, one, one, and I know he has 1-1 one, one back 2 in his plus, but everybody just back dashes after they get hit by this and punishes you for going for anything, so I know he has that, but if he could do 1-1-2 one, one, and then combo after it, the same way Nightwolf could do 1-1-1, one, 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 well, the same way Nightwolf can do that. Not to mention, this shit is a fucking... It's not a 50-50, but... You know what I mean? The fact when you have this overhead in neutral, that's 24 frames, and then the 26 frame low, it's a little mix. But, um, yeah, if Spawn could do that, and he had a 10 frame mid, he'd be top tier. So if that was special cancelable, and this was 10 frames, 
Even, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would be enough. But anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's all. <laughs> I don't really have much to say. I'm up super late. I can't sleep, and I'm just thinking about shit. And I was like, yeah, it's literally uh, you change. Like, and I get that's why the patches in this game have been the way they've been. Like, when they nerf characters, they don't nerf them too heavily. When they buff characters, they don't buff them too crazy, save for a couple situations. But it's because literally changing one, one, like, making this 11 frames would change this matchup. Like, making this, buffing this move by one frame would immediately change the Nightwolf spawn matchup. Like, as right now, I don't like fighting Nightwolf and spawn because all people are going to do is spear tracks. Because I can't really do anything about it. All right. And fucking AI, hold on, let me show this one more time. Just because I wanna, I wanna, uh, I wanna punish it and do something, right? Oh yeah, it doesn't punish from that range. <laughs> God damn, yeah, come on. There we go. So, just, just watch. Follow me. <clears throat> God damn, man, come on. This shit is way harder than these. You see that? Do you see that? <laughs> so like what I said earlier about uh about his uh his down four being uh plus fifteen on hit. <clears throat> so like theoretically it should jail into this. But you know what I mean? Like when there's any when there's a gap in there it's not guaranteed to jail. So when he, if you do it after spirit tracks, like, yeah, you're plus 15, but you can't follow up with anything. There's not a single move that he has that can hit you. So he doesn't get any, like, <clears throat> Nightwolf does spirit tracks, and all he gets at the most is 3%. A 3% punish to reset neutral. Into reset neutral. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> the fact that you can do that and then roll and just get that when all they got to do is give him one more make this one frame faster all of a sudden he gets 39 percent punished for doing that stupid ass move right if they give him one make his his if they make his forward for one frame faster that's what that's the difference it goes from a three percent punish to a 39 percent punish for one bar but anyway um I don't think that's something that's like super new or super like uh, complicated, but I'm sure some people don't know. And it's something that was, I was thinking about, something that was kind of bothering me because a lot of Shaman Nightwolf players have shown up since he got buffed. And me as a spawn player, it's kind of frustrating, right? Because you literally cannot punish that move. And sometimes you can't punish it at all. Sometimes down for it, like you saw, down for it doesn't reach, right? And it's just a matter of one frame. And I think you could make spawns down for faster, honestly. He doesn't get the luxury of a lot of other characters where they're low post, low profile, right? You know what I mean? But we'll we'll, we'll get to that too. We'll, we'll get to that too. But anyways, um, I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off and talk y'all to death. Um, if you do like the content, if you're still sticking around, I appreciate it. Even though I said I fucking <laughs> can't stand this game, <laughs> I'm still I'm still gonna play it. I'm still gonna make content. I'll be here for you guys. I'm not. I'm not dipping on you. I'm not disappearing on y'all. So I'll be here. So if you do like it, please shoot me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I appreciate everybody who watches. Even the people who dislike my videos. That's cool. That doesn't like hurt me. That doesn't make me feel bad or anything. It's uh, it's criticism. And I, I'm totally open to criticism. I'm not. The only thing I'm not here for is trolling. Like people just coming in my comments saying, you fucking suck. You fucking suck. Like that's not constructive. It's not criticism. That doesn't help. That's just being a dickhead. <laughs> like if you have constructive criticism and say you disagree with me, I love it. I'm always here for it. I'm always in the comments. So anybody who has real criticism or even if you guys have ideas for videos I should make, I'm working on some. But even if you have ideas for those, hey, feel free to let me know. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, like I said, like like the video if you like it, sub if you haven't already, if you like the content, you can follow my Twitch too. I'll put a link in the description, twitch.tv slash JSF. And yeah, man, y'all have a good one. Stay safe.